September 21st, 1987. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. I have to finish what I started. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. Hi. My name is Dusk, the anime boy with a plant growing out of his head. And I'm going to play Faith today. It's been a while since I've touched this game. I don't think I've ever finished it myself, but I've seen other people finish it. But this should be fun. So let's begin. Let's go exercise some s stuff. Let's see. Oh, look, a deer. Hi, deer. Oh, goodbye, deer. Here, so I do this. Be gone, evil spirit of the well. You're invited. Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday. Totally not a really creepy clown on this children's birthday invitation. <laughs> Sorry, got distracted by that. Um, Saturday, May 3rd, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Directions, turn right at 1338 Snake Meadow Hill Road. Go straight past the well. It's totally not haunted. At least it's not now. Oh, vitamin deficient coyote. Don't worry, there are no demons in this woods. Just Vitamin deficient coyotes. Okay, uh... Okay, that that might have spooked me just a little. Mr. Martin, it has taken longer than expected registration. Registrating the markers on your property as a historical cemetery. Our office has had difficulty identifying who was buried there. The inscription on the gravestones are written in a language that we cannot identify. I've sent the gravestone rubbings to some of my peers at the University of Connecticut. I will reach out to you when I get a response from them. Oi, let me out. Oh, had to go down. All the best, Daryl Henderson, State of Connecticut. Historical Society. Okay. I, I went all the way down. Okay. Nope, this one isn't possessed. What about this one? Okay. Uh, Run, dear, run! Run from the coyote! I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> oh, look. A puddle. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I caught some people walking through the woods around the house last week. Not kids, just regular adults. They told me they got lost while hiking. 
I pointed them back towards the road. The whole thing just didn't feel right. I think I should go dig up Bob's rifle out of the storage. You know, that is kind of weird, just having random people wandering around your place. Oh look, see? Told you it was fine. No harm came to that deer. Also, I just realized I'm one of those people that's just wandering around their house. Oops. It's okay, because I'm a priest. The Martin's house lies about 100 yards off of Snake Meadow Hill Road. There is almost no driveway, trees just out in the middle of a gr gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was Blech. since it was already dark when we arrived. Father Allred seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the headlights I saw an old shed off of the right of the path. Father Allred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family pres present makes it difficult to proceed with the, with the elements of the rite that may seem harsh to the layperson. Yeah, probably not a good thing to just have the family watch you while you point across at someone and say, Oh, power of Christ compels you! Wait, is it, oh, there we go. Not perfect. Go away, vitamin deficient coyote. Uh, okay, there we go. Mm, I knew it was coming, but it still scared me. Why? I honestly didn't think I was going to be jumping this much. I shouldn't be. Uh, this is just a creepy game in general. So even if you know the jumps, it still kind of spooks you. Especially with the audio. The audio is really good in that sense. Because you just hear the... And it just... Kind of sends a tingle up your spine. Oh, look. There's a deer. See? It's fine. Oh, God. It's not fine. Run, deer. Run. Oh. oh. Um... Um... I'm sure it's fine. It's just sleeping. The coyote just happened to break its bottle of ketchup. And then it fainted. I'm sure it's fine. Uh, let's see here. Oh, look. Uh, bones? Haunted bones. Bob, the kids and I miss you more every day. The twins and Amy have started their next school year here at home. Amy keeps asking when she, when she's going to be allowed to go to the real school. I think she's getting cabin fever. The twins are having no problems occupying their time. Yesterday they came in with their hands covered in blood. Yeah, that's fine. I guess they found a dead deer and thought it would be a good idea to touch it. I think we might have a coyote problem, because when I went out with them to look at the dead deer, it was a pretty gruesome sight. All this just a day after the twins' birthday party. Can't wait until you come home. See? Told you. Just coyotes. Ah, looking coyote. <laughs> I didn't go into a circle, did I? Uh, this is this is the same house. This is the same. Uh, this is almost as bad as the time I got lost going to Boston and went to Vermont instead. <laughs> okay, it's fine. We're not lost. We're just adventuring. 
We're exploring. We're experiencing. What is this? It's too small to be a deer or a coyote. Okay. Sure. Ch Chaos reigns, everybody. Yeah, it it doesn't care about my cross. Oh, see? Told you. The deer is fine. Power Christ compels you. Okay, so here's the well. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the house should be up here, I think. If we keep going north, we'll find the house eventually, I think. Hey, see. Oh, yeah. See, see, guys? Just a normal, everyday house that totally looks like it's been lived in recently. And not just been abandoned here for like years. Y you know, Father, couldn't you just live with the guilt? You didn't have to come back here. Uh. We could always leave, Father. We don't have to do this. <sighs> Mr. and Miss Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt for them, for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic, in a chair, perfectly calm staring at us. It was hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. Yeah, because she's possessed. By demons. I dislike that the music stopped. <sighs> yeah, I'm just... Normal, average photo. I'm sure they're fine. Look, this is going to be a, all a huge misunderstanding. We're going to look around the house, the fan is going to be here, and it's like, Oh, Father, why are you back? Everything went fine after the, your original exorcism. Would you like some tea and maybe some snack cakes? I mean, I feel that you drove all the way back out here to check on us, but, I mean, it was unnecessary. Yeah, and we're all just gonna have a big, huge laugh. No demons. None. Oh, look, it's a plant. Like the one on my head. It doesn't have demons in it, because we all know demons cannot possess plants, so I am safe from possession, not from being torn to shreds. I can easily be torn to f shreds because I have mortal flesh. I am just a boy with a plant on his head. What a lovely picture, Nate. You have such a talent for art. Can I have the banana? Is the banana possessed? No? Okay. Can I leave out the back? <laughs> and never come back? Nope. Okay, so, uh... We can go downstairs. Or we can go upstairs. Um, uh, I'm gonna go upstairs first. I'm pretty sure upstairs isn't where I'm supposed to go yet. Because I am secretly putting off the scary stuff.
Rubber duck. They possess the rubber duck. Why would you possess a rubber duck? Rubber ducks are innocent. <sighs> I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. I hear voices outside around the house at night. I don't let the twins go out in the woods to play because I'm afraid of what's out there. The house itself feels stra stressed, distorted, slanted, somehow. It's like I'm walking through a carnival funhouse. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her, and I don't know why. She just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day, and now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God Bob comes home tomorrow. Yeah, totally. Your, your house is totally not possessed, and the demons are trying to keep you from leaving. And your daughter's definitely not possessed either. She's fine. It's all just a huge misunderstanding. Just a misunderstanding. Silly how those happen. I guess I was the only one who sought to check in the attic. When I got up there, it was freezing cold. I found a Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me like when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name and in other instances spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came, so I raised my crucifix and began the rite again. Look, if demons start speaking Latin at you, raise your crucifix and start yelling Latin back. That's just how you deal with demons. Easy peasy. You don't need a Catholic priest for that. <laughs> See? Easy. Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask Anish about it next time we have book club. She looks like she could be from over there. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead, or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. You mean your, like, I'm guessing preteen daughter didn't want a creepy doll from the Middle East? Shock. <laughs> or I guess a teenager if she's working. Either way. Shocked that she did not want a doll. A creepy ass fucking doll. From God knows where. It's probably possessed by demons. Or vitamin deficient coyotes. One of those two. It's easy to get them confused. Congrats, none of your toys are possessed. I think. I, I think I got him. Guys, I kind of ran out of rooms. Um, so that unfortunately means I kind of had to go downstairs. And when I say downstairs, I mean, I, I mean further downstairs. Like the basement. Uh, I guess we can't leave after coming this far. Look, more ketchup over there. Man, these guys sure have a lot of ketchup. Oh, and they need to fix their basement. It's leaking. Oh, the crib. I, I thought it was going to be the doll again. <laughs> Dear Amy, 
Thanks for writing. It really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter, you asked what's the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary. The area we are working in has a lot of folks who practice... Oh god, I'm going to get this wrong. Quimbamba. I definitely got that wrong, but that's okay. It's what you might call a pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. One of the saints they worship is San La Muriti. Or Saint Death. Yesterday we talked to a boy about 15. When we asked him if he had ever prayed, he said no, but I've prayed to San La Morete. He told us about a time when he stayed over at his cousin's house and according to him they prayed to some figures of San La Morete and the figures made things in the house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. We told him he could pray to God and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We invited him to church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in four months. Late. Fun. Oh look, mannequins, because you just keep a bunch of those in your basement. Everyone does. I got like five in mine. And look, none of them are possessed by demons. Aren't you lucky? Oh. Huh. Someone really played with that catch up. Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the rite for long. Miss Martin was hysterical, and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off of the fear. Father Allred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother, Mother, the whole, the whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement, so I went down to check on things. I found Father Allred, lying on his back, unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. Uh-huh. Not not in the chair, you say. Be gone, demons. Oh, no, 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 no. She is here. No shit. <laughs> So the game begins. My eyes. Go away. Oh, uh. Yeah, that's gonna happen a lot. More this. That means death. Yes, you're a very creepy girl. She is here. <sighs> I've got the gun hope. You feel me. Okay, so that's how you do that. 
I don't remember what I'm supposed to do at this point. <laughs> Can I just leave? Oh, I can just leave, but I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to. things maybe I don't know kind of busy dealing with demons <laughs> be gone demon child does why do you never want to have children <laughs> they're so cute and lovely Oh, I had to go and banish her multiple times. But that was the thing. Right. Of course. I had to flex my exercise routine. Gotta show them what the power of Christ truly means. Oh, oh there's a lot of catch up up here. Karen. The church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear it from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the paper about what happened isn't true. She, my superior father, with... When I confronted her, she managed to cut the power of the house and... Her own parents with their own... I have to go back to that house. The nightmares I'm having are real. She's still there waiting for me. I can still help her. If I don't come back, know that I love you and I'm sorry, John. You sure you can't live with the nightmares, John? You real sure? You real, real sure about that? Okay. Okay. My God, what happened to you? Do you think my face is pretty? If I say yes, I do I get to leave? What I started. She's my priest. Be gone. Um, it, it's not be goning. Um. Hi, friend. Oh. Mortis. He didn't want to be gone either. <laughs> Quick, what's the Latin word for be gone, asshole? <laughs> my God, what happened to you? Do you think my face is pretty? I have to finish what I started. She's my priest. Be gone. Please? Please be gone? Go away. Oh God. Um... Uh, can you tell your friend to go? Oh. Uh, 
I don't like this part of the game. need to dodge. If my memory concludes, I need to stop trying to exercise her. You need to work on your cardio. Like, just run. Jog a little bit faster, John. Oh god! I'm fine. I'm sorry. <sighs> god, how many exercises do you need? Just go away. No one likes you. Gamer. Uh, that was cheap. Exercised out a window. Be gone, please. It's not over. I, I wish I could tell you guys that it's over. I wish I could say that we could go home. It's not over. It's not over till the, uh, Plant, the anime boy with a plant growing out of his head cries his little baby eyes out. Kill her. 
but it's written backwards. That's what we call a hint, boys and girls. Because the demon is in the mirror. I, I think. I hope I did that right. <laughs> Oh wait, I think, we, yeah, they response the gun. So you just go and do that multiple times, I think. I I hope that it, that's how this is supposed to be done, and I'm not just looking like a dumbass. How dare you waste that bullet? Well, you waste another bullet, well, we'll give you one more gun. That's it. You really should stop shooting that, uh, mirror. Fuck. <laughs> I really hope it actually respawns. Fuck me. Yes, okay, thank god. It's idiot proof. <laughs> uh. Oh god. Hi. Uh. <laughs> Can you like go away? Look, I just wanted to show you guys what it was like to die to that thing. No, no, I just fucking died. Because I'm stupid. <laughs> oh god, please don't let me shoot the fucking mirror again. <sighs> Look, I just wanted to show you guys what an idiot looks like. That This right here in the bottom right corner is what an idiot looks like, just in case you're wondering, in case you need a picture. In the dictionary, if they still make those, by the word idiot is a picture of me. Just going, ah! <laughs> that, that's the picture. You know, we're so lucky they had so many single-shot rifles in this house. We'd be really screwed otherwise. Be, be gone. No, seriously, be gone. Please be gone. <laughs> You're really fast. And John has never run a day in his fucking life. John does not know the meaning of run. He will walk at a casual pace for the rest of his goddamn life. No matter what- oh my god, you're getting faster. Please stop. Please, they don't save. If you kill me again, I have to shoot the mirror again. Please stop. No one wants to see that, and I don't want to edit it. Please be gone. I think we did it. Victory set. <sighs> December 30th, 1986. Dear Dr. McGlasson, 
It has been 30 days since the beginning of my treatment here at Yale Psychi Psychiatric Institute. Dr. Spinnell, who has been so patient with me, has helped me withstand my afflictions and has helped me find a way to move forward and accept the truth. With Dr. Spinnell's help, I have come to accept what really happened in September at the Martin family residence. I accept that what happened was not the result of any supernatural phenomenon, but rather the desperate actions of a young girl driven to violence by her dogmatic parents and old church rituals that are sought to drive out evil. I am happy to report that since accepting the truth, my nightmares have ceased and I now enjoy peace of mind that I have not felt since the incident. Given my progress since first coming here, I respectfully request my release from Yale Psychiatric Institute. Contingent upon follow-up appointments with Dr. Spinnell in the future, sincerely, John Ward. See, no demons. There was never any demons, guys. None. None. No. No. We, we, we killed it. There's no demons. So, I think we can just leave. I'm just gonna leave. I'm done with this. The doctor said there was no demons. And who am I to question a medical professional? No demons. Maybe vitamin deficient coyotes and rebellious teenage girls, but no demons. None. Everything you saw here tonight was a lie. God, I really parked far away. Uh. With one bullet. Can I like? Uh, oh, right. I. Haha. <laughs> uh, this is a free trigger finger. Can I get in the car? I thought I could get in the car. I will probably look up endings. Uh. Here, here in a minute. Uh, yeah, if you see like a jump cut for something, that was probably just me looking up how to get the ending. Because I would like to put all those endings in here. Even though I don't really need to. But I would like to get like one ending at least. Okay guys, I'm going to see you in a minute. Oh, well, a second for you. God knows how long for me. Okay, I am back. I know the things. I'm an idiot. Do not shoot gun. With one bullet. Yeah, yeah, one bullet. Couldn't afford a slightly nicer model gun that could hold maybe, you know, couple extra. Pretty sure most bold actions can hold like four. No, no, we'll just get the cheap single shot. It's fine. Go away. We 
We did it. We exercised the demon. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night, nor the evil that walketh in darkness. Because I have made the Lord my refuge. Because I have set my love upon him, therefore will he deliver me. I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. I can't explain what happened at that house. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. That's the title of the game. Ending 5 of 5. Well. Four more endings to go. First, this very important news article. <sighs> Police. Animal experts investigating chupacabra remains found near Sterling. Sterling PD is enlisting the help of local local animal experts from the University of Connecticut after the remains of an unidentified animal were found near Sterling. The remains of an animal, which some residents are calling a chupacabra, were discovered on Snake Meadow Hill Road by a motorist yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of its carcass were scattered across the... God, I lost my place. Scattered across the road. Police say they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorist who discovered the remains had told them they appeared to be of a person. After arriving at the scene, police concluded that the remains were of some kind of animal. As a matter of public safety, we want to be sure about what exactly we're dealing with here, said a Sterling police spokesman. This is clearly not a deer or a coyote. If it's a mountain lion or exotic pet that escaped from its owner or an animal with rabies, we need to know about it. Animal experts attached to the investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal had been found, although they can commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the rickets, a vitamin D deficiency that appears in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. There we go. So, you know, just vitamin deficient coyotes. Don't worry about it. Or I guess technically not a coyote. They did say it wasn't a coyote. A vitamin deficient exotic pet. A gun with one bullet. Uh, game. Oh my god. I hate to take it for those guys. Hi. Yeah, about those endings. Yeah, I'm gonna go get those now. I totally, the game totally didn't freeze and I totally didn't just do the entire game over again. So endings, right, endings. We got one of them, now time to get the other four. I don't think I read this. Mr. and Miss Martin greet us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us down the stairs to the basement, explained that Amy was down there in restraints. Oh wait, cause I, uh, yeah, I think I accidentally left that cause I totally didn't do this game over again from the beginning. Right, anyway. There we go. No, let's go shoot things. There he is. Yeah. Kapow. Yay. 
yeah, take that random passerby. -er. All the evil is gone now. Well, we can go home now. <laughs> oh, I guess shooting that random person didn't solve the problem. Esteemed Cardinal Grifford, with all due respect, you cannot grasp the importance of the work I am doing for young Michael without being present here. Michael needs my help now more than ever. In the past few weeks, I have made great progress with Michael's affliction. Nevertheless, whatever darkness is inside of him fights back with increasing ferocity. We must not let him must not let up the fight against the enemy at such a critical time. There is another reason why I dare not return Michael to his family, nor let them see him. The darkness inside him afflicts his soul, but also causes a terrible strain on his body. So that there may be no mistaking what I mean, I have enclosed a photograph of young Michael during one of our sessions. The photograph is missing. Of course it is. Two endings down. Three more to go. Okay. Time to shoot more things. Oh. Look, an unsuspecting deer. I bet if we murder it, it will solve everything. We did it, gang. We solved all the problems. Somehow. Alright, let's go home. So, shooting the deer did not solve all our problems. Who would have guessed? Unidentified body discovered near wrecked car. The site of a deadly car accident was discovered along a road near Sterling this morning. Along with the body of a person who has not yet been identified at 6 a.m. this morning, a resident called the report an accident along Snake Meadow Hill Road. The driver, the driver of a silver sedan had swerved off the road and struck a tree. A, smoke, a spokesman for the police commented that the body appeared to have been dragged several yards away from the car deeper into the woods after having been ejected from the front windshield. It was noted that the body had been mangled beyond recognition. Investigators suspect this was probably the work of coyotes. Police also noted that parts of a cleaned white-tailed deer were found in the trunk of the car. From a white-tailed deer, a hunter typically gets 15 pounds of meat. However, it appears the victim of the accident was only able to carry 25 pounds. Oh, that's 75 pounds of meat. Was only able to carry 25 pounds back to the car. So yeah, let's go shoot more things. 
with one bullet. I only need to shoot like two more things, and I'm sure this will solve all our problems. Oh, look. A demon. Let's do what the blood stain in the house told us to do. I'm sure that'll fix all our problems. Problem solved. Let's go home. I don't think God's going to help us with this one. Police arrest man accused of murdering missing girl. A New York man is in the custody of after he was, he confessed to the murder of a sterling girl who had been missing. John Ward of Palmyra was pulled over on Snake Meadow Hill Road last night after a state trooper reported hearing a gunshot. The officer thought it might be poachers. The officer said Ward was acting nervous and suspicious. After being pulled over, when questioned, Ward reportedly said, I've killed her. According to the police report, the officer called for backup after Ward became increasingly upset, saying repeatedly that there was a demon inside her. Ward was taken to Sterling Police Headquarters for further questioning. Ward didn't confess to authorities that he had shot and killed Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl who had been missing for nine days after escaping from mental institution. After a brief search, police located Amy's body in the woods, near the now-abandoned Martin home. In addition to receiving a gunshot wound to the stomach, Amy showed injuries suggesting that she had been thrown out of the second story window of the house. An officer who, had, who helped recover the body told reporters that Amy's face had been mutilated in a very brutal manner. Ward was found dressed as a priest when he was pulled over. It is suspected that he impersonated a priest to gain his victim's trust after Catholic authorities in Rome confirmed that Ward was not an ordained minister. The rest of the article is missing. Oof. Well, let's see if we can find one more thing to shoot. A gun with one bullet. So far, shooting things has not solved any of our problems, really. Except for that mirror. Because I guess fuck mirrors. There we go. We fixed all the problems. Maybe. I have no fucking idea what I just shot. <laughs> Let's go home. Oh, that does not look like problems being fixed. <laughs> Hello, Amy. I'm sorry to hear about your parents' decision. It is hard for people to trust what they do not understand. I know you are only 17, but you clearly uh, you could you but you are clearly an adult and you are able to handle your own life. Do not let your mom and dad stop you from following your dreams. If there is anything I can do to help you, just let me know. We are having a get together at the clinic Saturday night, and I would love for you to stop by. We still consider you a part of the team, even if your mom and dad do not. 
We hope to see you there. Gary. Alright guys, that was the end of Faith. That was fun. And scarier than I remembered. I honestly thought I was going to have to, you know, play it up. But no, that was honestly scary. Even though I knew everything that was coming. But still, very fun. And I'm going to be doing more Let's Plays in the future. So hopefully you'll check them out. And you know... LCS for the almighty algorithm. And I hope to see you guys again. Bye bye